The truth is, nobody knows what a human being is. Not now, not ever before, even Moses. Even Moshe Rabbeinu didn't know what a human being is. That's how mysterious we are. That's the truth, that's a fact. You can go around the world, you can go around the globe and look for the highest spiritual teachers, look for the, for the people that have sat and meditated for 70 years straight, and they will still not be able to tell you what a human being is. The secure base is the knowledge that somebody created this and he doesn't need your help. So once you, once you can transfer your identity to just this unity, to just this point, then you're going to be able to face the truth, whatever it might be. And that truth is something that you've been running from your entire life. All your thoughts are built around also avoiding certain areas, certain thoughts, certain realizations that you're not ready to handle because your identity is still too invested in them. So it would be too painful for you. You don't think that you're going to be able to handle it. So as you transfer all your identity to just this one unity, to just this one truth, that something beyond you designed all this based on a formula that you don't have any business second guessing because you're a result of it. If you're still second guessing, it means it's still working. So then once we get that into our head deep enough, once our, our kidneys can attest to this fact, then the way our thoughts are going to be created is going to be very different. You're going to come at life from a very different angle. And that switch, that change, is going to make us feel so secure because we're going to feel in our body so safe. We're going to feel like our body doesn't get too excited, even by things that in the past it would get excited by. Now it doesn't get so excited because it's different now. It sees it differently. So now once that takes place, we can allow ourselves to to re-identify who we are with that open, undefined reality that is really the truth. You are a human being. You are a mysterious creature. That's a fact. And we haven't been ready to face that fact. So we've been creating structures upon structures in order to protect ourselves from this reality. This reality is a good reality. We happen to be a species that is much more kind, much more intelligent, much more capable than anything we've experienced. But in order to protect ourselves from this unknown species, we create a identity that is based on things that are unnatural, things that are unhealthy for the species to think and believe about itself, and things that cause a war, a conflict within the organs of the very being, the very animal that we're living in. So, so this is something that we can only find peace, we can only find uh, our true identity when we learn how to identify with the unity, with Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokein Hashem Echad, and with nothing else, Einoid Milvada, there is nothing else. There is no image, there is no, there is no symbol, there is no, there is no creed, there is no anything else that we can add to that unity, to that source. All the Torah, all the teachings are to teach us how does that unity interact with this complex body. That's all the instruction we need. But to know who this is and what its purpose is, nobody know, knows, nobody has known. And I don't know if I know anybody ever will know, but certainly not in the near future. This is not knowable to our minds, to our brains. We, we don't have the capacity. So our real safety is in knowing that, because then nothing else can affect us. Nothing else can shake us. But when we think we're different things, when we think we're lesser things, so then our organs respond as if that's true. And when our organs respond as if that's true, then we feel the emotion as if we are so little. And, and that becomes ingrained in our memory, it becomes ingrained our, in our imagination. So we have to find our security only in the unity, only in the source, and in absolutely nothing else. No parties, no, uh, no uh, mantras, no names, nothing else other than the fact that the one who created this, he is the one that knows. He is the only one that knows. And everything we do is to conform with his knowledge and his truth, because that's been the knowledge and the truth way before we were born, and that will be the truth way after we pass. So let us not get fooled by our own illusions. There's something much bigger than us happening here, 
that we're not properly aware of. And that's our security, that's our promise. That's what keeps us safe in this world and the next world.